welcome to Quarantine Vlog. Um, today is Monday, April 6th. Let me scoot back so you can see my skein crown. I just want you to know I'm not going crazy during quarantine. This is been all over Instagram, so I'm not being, my sanity isn't going, I'm just being trendy. <laughs> anyway, I'll tell you more about this skein in a bit. Um, but while I talk to you about what's been going on in our lives, you can admire the beautiful colors. <laughs> so, I last talked to you on Wednesday, which was April 1st. Should be a sign for that day, right? Um, so after I talked with you all, uploaded in the vlog, um, called my boss because the first is payday. What do you want me to do? Like, are you mailing me my check, or do I need to go down and get it? And he said, well, I have it here. I was like, well, I'll just go down and get it, because my bank is down there, so I'll just deposit it, all that. Okay. And then, you know, I, was, I also wanted to talk to him about, you know, the governor has extended the quarantine until the end of April. What do, are we going to be open? What's the plan? He said, we will, like, the office is still going to be partially open, but he wants to limit how many people are there. So he basically told me to go file for unemployment. I've kind of been furloughed, I guess you can say. Um, so that was an ordeal, trying to get on unemployment. And then it's like, at the same, you know, it's like, I know I have a job when all this is over, but still, it, just that feeling of having to file for unemployment is not a feeling I like. Um, but yeah, so there are special circumstances for those of us who were laid off because of COVID-19. We will have a job when all this is over. Like, they even had those questions on there, and it's like, yes, that's me, I am. You know, but still, I, I just don't know how I feel about it, you know? It's like, yes, I'm, I know we'll be okay. And I have a job, but still. Anyway. <sighs> and that was an ordeal trying to get on unemployment, too, because everybody's been flooding the system. And so I was like 11 o'clock at night when I finally got through. <laughs> and of course, you can't go to the office because the office is closed because of everything. Anyway. But Thursday, we went for a walk because it was so so nice outside, like 60 degrees, and then it probably dropped back down to 40s. That's lovely. <laughs> That's Illinois for you in the springtime. Um, but while we were on our walk, so we walked down the street. It's right outside this window. <laughs> we walked down the street and then across the main street. That's at the end of our street. And then across that is the school where Ryan works. So we just kind of walked through campus, um, cause there's not really, you can't really walk around. Um, but while we were walking through, the group home that is next to the school, excuse me, they had, their residents were out and about walking, you know, getting fresh air. You know, you need that every once in a while. And of course, some of them were individuals that are in Ryan's class. And so they wanted to come hug him, and they wanted to come meet me. And well, of course, you can't get that close because of the social distancing right now. And of course, they don't understand. And anyway, it was just, it was heartbreaking because, you know, they wanted to see Ryan, and they couldn't. Um, but while we were there, you know, the lady who was in, she's kind of in charge of scheduling, um, she was with them, and she asked Ryan, did you get my message? You know, we need help. And Ryan was like, I did, but I've been sick. Now that I'm better, I can help you. And so that's where Ryan is today. He is at the group home helping out with special needs adults. Um, I'm very anxious about it just because there have been several cases of the virus there. Um, I know 
Last I heard, there have been two deaths um, of the individuals that he worked with. There were two more that were, it didn't look good. Um, so we'll see. Um, and Ryan said he was nervous too. So there's that. But, you know, he's like, once I go and I know the protocol and I know the restrictions that they have in place, we can, you know, I'll, I'll feel better. I was like, okay. And like, I have strict rules here too. So like when he gets home, go straight down to the basement where the washer is, put your clothes in there, go straight upstairs, shower, don't touch, don't hug, don't pet. Like, <laughs> go, go shower and then we'll be good. Sorry, I feel a tickle in my throat, so if I cough. <laughs> <coughs> Actually, there it is. Anyway, so what else was there? So Friday and Saturday, we're just kind of hanging out, <laughs> doing whatever. I was crocheting a lot, knitting a lot. Um, oh, Saturday, our village um, handed out vouchers that are good at local restaurants. Um, so if you're a resident, so we got in line, we had this long line to get our vouchers. Um, so that was nice. And they had a list of the restaurants and stuff that you could go use them at. So it's like a way to keep the local economy going. Um, and then Saturday night, Ryan and I went over to the church, which not a long commute for us. <laughs> um, while we were there, the worship director came and we recorded our special Good Friday service. And like, I'm excited about it. Like, Good Friday services, yes, they can be awesome. But they're supposed to convey something really serious and really somber. But I'm just excited with how it turned out. I have, I have the files. I'm going to edit it hopefully today um, after I edit this and upload this. Um, and I just really hope I don't mess it up. <laughs> and hello, Dixie. If you can hear that thump, 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 that's Dixie. <laughs> anyway. Um, she walks like that because she's lost a lot of muscle mass in her legs because of her diabetes. Anyway, so it's always sad to hear her walking <laughs> across the floor. She's just going to stay there for now. She's not coming over here. <laughs> anyway, sorry, distraction. Um, but yeah, our Good Friday service is, it's going to be good. So... On Friday, you get a chance to go over and watch that service. Um, so I'll have a link to our church's YouTube channel down below. Um, then yesterday was Palm Sunday, and Ryan and I were just really missing our church. Um, all the people there. It's not Palm Sunday without you know everybody waving their palm branches and singing Hosanna. So we had some extra palm branches. Actually... They were leftovers from last year, <laughs> and so they're pretty dried out, but it's all we had. And there goes Dixie. <laughs> See, I told you she's not going to come over here. Um, for those of you who are new, that's my cat, Dixie. Anyway. <laughs> um, so we actually gathered up the palm branches that we had from last year and we drove around to everybody from church and handed them out and we still tried to stay six feet away from each other um, but it's hard because we've missed each other and of course we're doing air hugs <laughs> with people <laughs> um, but it was good to see everybody and talk to people um, we haven't seen in three weeks so that was fun um, and that's it. <laughs> it's, I've caught you up on everything for this week since the last time I talked with you. I do have a couple finished objects and a couple of things that are to be. 
<laughs> um, the first finished object I want to show you, you don't know anything about. Because um, I kind of did it on a whim on Thursday. Um, just with the whole unemployment thing, I was feeling kind of low, so I thought, I need to make this. Um, so, for those of you who don't know who Allie is from Little Drops of Wonderful uh, podcast, she lives in Kent in the UK, as she always says. Um, and so in England, um, a lot of the kids have been painting rainbows and posting them in the windows. So when people go on their government-issued walks, they can see all the rainbows in the windows. And so Allie, being a crocheter, she thought, oh, I'll crochet one. And she kind of created a bundle on Ravelry, so if, I'll put a link, if I can find it again, <laughs> to all the patterns that she had um, for crocheted rainbows. So, I kind of looked through them all. They were okay. Um, so when I was on Zoom with my old stitch group, I just kind of winged it and made my own. Isn't that cute? I love how it turned out. It is a bit wonky because I really wasn't counting like I should when I did it. Um, so I'm just going to black it really good. And then it's going to hang in the window. Who cares <laughs> what it really looks like. And of course my loop is off center. But oh well. That's okay. I don't mind. Um, all the yarn is acrylic yarn I had in my stash. I went deep stash diving for sure for all of these. <laughs> Bye, Dixie. <laughs> the green, I wish I had a, a, a brighter green. Um, it was either this or a light sage, which that really wouldn't work. So that's what I have. That's what I made. I'm very proud of it. The next finished object I wanted to show you I was living in my Disney Cruise bag. Of course, I have my Disney Cruise Castaway Key hoodie on because it's Mickey Monday. Hello. <laughs> um, in it was living my Ebbing Tides shawl. Let me show it to you. Ta-da! It's all done. Yay! So, uh, like I said, it's the Ebbing Tides Shawl um, by Samantha Hovar of Sam Squeak Podcast. Um, it's a paid-for pattern, so I can't tell you much. Although, I will tell you, um, it's made for a sport weight yarn. I did a fingering weight, so I did have to change my hook size. I went with a... Let me find it. Uh, 3.75 millimeter hook is what I used. So last time you saw, I was here where the lighthouse stitch marker is, and I finished all of this. I got to the dark teal. I was on the last row, and I was seven stitches short <laughs> of the dark teal. So, um, because I had spliced together two cakes of this, uh, Yarn Bee Rainbow Rhapsody. I didn't use all of it. I still have a bunch. Like, I have a bunch left over. So I just went through and pulled some of the dark teal. So that's why the top. And I was like, I don't want just seven stitches here at this end with this weird, you know, with the marled look. So I just did one more row with the marledness. <laughs> um. So yeah, so I haven't woven in any of the ends, so you can see my splicing. Um, I'm going to block it so it'll really stretch out, and then have it ready for Easter Sunday. Yay! I'm so excited. So, that is finished object number two. I finished that last night. As soon as I finished it off, I was like, alright Ryan, I'm going to bed. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> He's like, all right, good night. He had to go to bed, too, so. No big deal. Um, that's everything for finished objects. And then I have a couple things I want to tell you about I'm going that I'm going to start. 
Um, first thing is with my rainbow, my rainbow colors, because um, I still have so much of it left. And I really wanted to do this pattern. Um, please excuse the printing of this because <laughs> it's pretty janky. Um, it's the Just Feel Festive Shawl. It's by Kalisha Ryan of the Quirky Monday Craft Cast. Um, it's made for fingering weight, and of course I have, you know, acrylic worsted weight. Um, but I figured I'll make a rainbow. I don't know if I'm going to do a full shawl or if I just want to do a scarf um, with that pattern. Just because I don't have a, a whole lot of the orange left. We'll see. Now that I finished the ebbing tides, I can start on this, which I'm excited for. And then another pattern that I printed out, um, this pat this printing job is much better, um, although it's black and white. Um, this is a free pattern. The Just Feel Festive shawl is a free pattern. I'll link it down below. And so is the Changing Staircases shawl. Um, that is, it's by uh, Tristan of Dragon Horde Yarn. Um, it's a free pattern. It's a knit pattern. So, I, I think the needles that I'm using for my dock head cowl are the size that I need for this. So it's like I need to finish that cowl so I can start on this. <laughs> um, but it has yarn overs and all kinds of stuff. Expanding my knitting skills for sure. Um, but I've, I've seen so many people do this pattern and I just love it. So I'm ready to start it. And then, this yarn. <laughs> Let me tell you about my skein crown. It is from Bumblebee Acres Farm. I bought this yarn around Christmas time. And it is um, on their squishy sock base, which is 75% merino, 25% nylon. And it is in the colorway Happy New Year. Who knew what 2020 would turn into? <laughs> My goodness. This is just crazy. Anyway, so around the beginning of quarantine, I got on Jimmy Bean's wool. Sorry, my foot's falling asleep. Um, and I ordered some more sock needles. I ordered the Chowgu Red Lace. Um, these are 25, or sorry, not 25 millimeter, they're 2.5 millimeter needles. Um, this is exactly what I have, um, my birthday cake socks on. Um, those socks are about 10 rows from the heel, and I wanted to try the Fish Lips Kiss heel, so I'm not quite ready for that yet. I'm trying to do it on my own, because I can't go to Llama Llama and be with my sock queen. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to make socks out of these. And I'm just going to do um, the basic toe up pattern that my friend Wendy made. And that I'm not going to do contrasting heels, toes, and cuffs as you hear the garbage truck go by. Um, so I'm going to skein this or cake this up into two things and do my two at a time socks and just have them all be this color. Happy New Year, 2020. Yep. <laughs> and then, of course, because I was on a yarn website, I couldn't just buy needles and not buy yarn, right? And there was a sale going on. I couldn't pass it up. Um, so I bought this beautiful purple. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> They're so pretty. Okay, so this is Cascade Yarns Heritage Wave. It is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, in the colorway Nightshade, which I really like. Um, I wanted to get a purple skein um, to do heels, toes, and cuffs to go with this one. So I figured that would be a nice contrast because if I did the white sparkly, you wouldn't really see it compared to this. This is um, Apple Fiber Studios. I don't know. I know there's some alpaca in this yarn. Um, this is the colorway Sweet Pea. 
but anyway, so I figured that'll be nice. I'll do heels, toes, and cuffs in this, and then I'll just do another skein or another pair of socks, just plain with these. So that's about it. I feel like my phone is gonna tell me you've run out of storage space, so we're gonna end it here. I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good holy week. Um, I probably will check in again later, and I hope you just stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourself so you can take care of others. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, so I took out all the bobby pins that were holding my skin crown up. Now my hair feel, it feels like a mess. Anyway, I wanted to show you all the beautiful colors in this skein. So you have this dark blue, and you have like light purple and yellows and greens, and then there's some pink there. <gasps> so pretty. Anyway, bye. <laughs>